Sending acid zombies. Clear again? Not quite. Still a few in the area, so we might get interrupted again. Let's do it. Alright, let's do one of these backspaces. Install. I need my welding gear. Try again. Install. 54 minutes. Are they going to leave me alone that long? Somehow I doubt it. Wow, it actually did. Alright, let's try another one. Can we get that lucky? Yep. Going to keep going. Ah, <laughs> No, and yes. Damn it. I should probably just ignore him and let him let my auto attack kill him while I'm welding. <laughs> uh, it just amuses me to think of how that works. But no. Install. Come on. We got it. Alright, so look at this beautiful thing. Okay, so that's all done. Um, I may shift these around at some point later. I'm still debating. Um, I usually like to have these free for me to move through, so putting the welder and the uh, uh, chemistry station in here, I'm not sure. If anything, it'll be chemistry here, welder here. That's fine for now. I can always step backwards and then out that way, so not a big deal. Alright, so we've got cargo space galore. No longer have cargo carrying problems, so that part's done. What did we end up with on our skill? 97%. Um, so let's take out one more cargo space. And I've still got... No, I've got no more spaces because I'm saving those two for the... Uh, oops, two um, installations I want to do. So we're now Mechanics 3. So what did... I forget what Mechanics 3 got us. We can repair... We can repair our frame now. Still can't quite do the spike plating though. So we need four for the spike plating. We can do frame and heavy plating. Alright, we're going to have to find a new thing to do. That's only Mechanics 1. I think it's just going to be another round of uh, finding a vehicle to take apart. Um. Mm -hmm. So we're tired again, hungry and thirsty. I'm just trying to decide when it's time to bug out to either the farm or go back to that other place to get our other gear. That's going to be a long trip because we still don't have a clean route back to our other spot where we left all that stuff in our old vehicle. There's no vehicles over near the farm that I remember for us to practice on. I think I'm just going to drive back over to where we just were behind the pharmacy and uh, spend the night again. Starting to get a little bit worried about our food supply though. We're going to start running out of easy to eat items here pretty soon. Um, how's the welder doing in my hands? It's down to 200 so we've just about burned 
the energy halfway, a little over halfway from one of the three welders we picked up. And we still got a lot of repairs and other welding to do. Um, let's look at this real quick. So if I tried to... Headlights are going to be too low now. Alternator is too... Quarter panels two, and they all take 27 minutes. And even windshield, pretty much everything's taking 27 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I could take this whole thing apart, but it's now a level below most of the things that would be useful. Security system needs four and four. Yeah, I don't see anything that's really a number three, at least not in this vehicle, that's going to make me really want to try that. don't think this is any different. Car horn, six minutes, mechanics two. I think car horn's gonna be it. It's a level below, but we can do it so quickly that I think it offsets. So let's check this. Let's remove the car horn. We got nothing. <laughs> Didn't budge. And if we install car horn, we got 1%. Hey there, Boomer. Thanks for this. Oh, apparently there's another Boomer. Or was that a delayed covered in bile? <laughs> I guess that was delayed. Um, yeah, 4%. That's going to be pretty slow. Um, can I fix frames of my own? Yeah, just gonna burn through the electrical, which, let's see how much it takes. Um, so I can do anything but the spike plating, so I wanted to do this front end anyway, so if I repair that, it's 45 minutes mechanics 3, and it takes that many charges, I mean 300 charges of the welder to fix frames. That's massive. <laughs> or 60 off the acetylene, so... I don't have anywhere near the, uh, no, I'm not looking at the spikes. This is the heavy-duty frame. I know chat's delayed a bit, but, uh, so yeah, 45 minutes, mechanics 3 for the heavy-duty frame, but it takes a huge amount of welder charges compared to the other stuff, so that's not something I'm going to be able to level off of. I want to do the repairs, but I just don't have the energy generation for that. I don't have solar set up, I don't have, uh, a, uh, I guess the thing, well, I need a welding station and I need the chemistry station, because at the welding station I could at least um, get a uh, start.
storage battery installed and run it off the storage battery. And a single storage battery, I could probably repair easily the entire vehicle. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to focus on. I can find the strength or try to build the lifting crane. I forget what it was. Is it the crane boom? I don't even think I have the skills. I may not be able to build a lifting thing. So I may be screwed for storage batteries unless I can push my strength to 15. I'll have to remember what, what drugs push strength. I think the uh, drunk does, you mentioned that, and I'm not sure what else. But I need a welding station in order to uh, do that. And then, can you find a welding station somewhere other than garages? I think I am going to be on the lookout for garages still. I need one of those portable welding stations. I think that's the only place I remember ever seeing one. Maybe a public works workshop? Because I doubt I'll be able to build one. Yeah, I think I'm stuck looking through garages still. Um, hmm. I really need to get this thing fixed, but I forgot just how much welding power it takes to uh, fix frames. That 300 number is scary. I mean, that's, I, I won't even be able to get the front end fixed. I mean, that frame's the only one that's low. The spike plating, eh, if it goes away, it goes away. So 300 for that, but then there's another, she's probably 1,000 and some right there. That's pretty much all the welder supplies done by the time I finish doing the front end. I don't know if I'm going to find a better ride. They're all usually pretty damaged. I think the answer for now is to just load this thing up as is. We've got the tools, we've got... How do I want to do this? Alright, we're going to try to sleep right here first. Yeah, we're going to sleep. And then in the morning, we're probably going to get moving. I'm just debating where we want to... Well, actually, no. I want to hit those garages while I'm in the area and see if I can find a welder. Alright, let's sleep. Everything kind of depends on that. i got to get some sleep first, so I don't want to get off... Ah, come on, that soon? Really? Oh, an acid zombie. I didn't finish off one of the acid zombies? Crap. Well, where the hell is it? It's under the... Oh, there it is on the front end of my vehicle. Apparently I forgot to uh, butcher one of the acid zombies. All right, now he's butchered. Can I sleep now? He got up like the instant I tried to sleep. Yeah, that's... Well, I guess that is a problem, trying to sleep. <laughs> if they keep setting off the minefield nearby. Try again. Come on, zombies. Ha <laughs> 
Uh, well, I don't think I brought any earplugs, and I don't want to wear them because I don't. I want to wake up if something's banging on my vehicle. You guys ever gonna stop setting that thing off? Apparently not. How annoying. <laughs> That's funny. How many mines are up there? You guys should have cleared the field by now. It's like every four minutes. <laughs> uh. Hey James, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the minefield simulator. <laughs> I can't, there, there's not that many mines in a minefield, so what the hell's going on up there? I mean, every five minutes, uh, there's half an hour, finally, finally. Oh, something's smashing its way in. Damn it, I can't get any good sleep. Or not. Great, now do we have triffids nearby making all the noise? Usually it's triffids that are doing that. I'm getting tiny increments of sleep, and it's nowhere near enough. Alright, well, good enough. Can't sleep any longer, sun came up. <laughs> Alright, well that was pretty amusing. Um, so I've got multiple garages in the area still. So I think I am going to go continue to hit garages. We've done three. We've got four more that I know of. Two relatively close, although I'm not sure with all the noise what happened to all the zombie horde indicators. One a little further north, and then one way down south. So we'll kind of play it by ear. But uh, I think I am going to go try to loot those before... Oh, holy crap. Oh man. Shocker brute and a whole crap load of blobs. Oh, looky there. Zombie master. God damn it. That's just what I needed. Zombie master hanging out in the big crowd. So there's a whole bunch of upgraded stuff up there. Slavering biters, uh, brute. And of course that's all the direction I was about to head. That's not good. That's not good at all. Zombie Reaver, Zombie Nader, Zock Shocker Brute. Damn it. Alright, let's try to do an end run. Let's get some food and water first. Alright, so we're all tanked up on food and water. So much storage space. Time to sort things out again. <laughs> uh, let's leave the goggles behind. Leave the welder behind. Alright, everything else is going. So that's our normal gear. Let's take off a spare backpack until we need it. Alright, what I'm going to try to do, they're hanging out up here. I'm worried about being able to get into that garage. I think that group's going to be too close. So they're in the area of both of the garages I was about to head to, so it kind of annoys me. I'm going to try to work my way south a bit and see if I can come up from the other side and maybe get in. We'll see. That would be a group I'd be scared to death to run into at night. Popping in the middle of a big horde with uh, masters or necromancers in it. That'd be just really, really bad. Alright, how far do we need to go? Stop running. Um, I'm going to go over one more block and then we're going to go straight north and we'll have access to both garages. Hopefully, we don't run into anything too nasty out this way. What you got? Sure, we'll take some marijuana. Alright, this is that other garage, so... 
pawn shop, laundromat. Actually, I wanted to hit those anyway, so that part's good. Nothing in sight so far. Alright, pawn shot's probably going to set an alarm off. Um, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not going to chance it. Try to keep this nice and quiet if we can. Alright, you guys going to have a cart for me in back here? Duffel bag. Um, no cart this time. Bleach and bleach. Yep, yeah, lots of bleach. No cart. Um, I'm going to leave this stuff here for the moment until I finish checking out those garages. Those are my priority. So we'll try, if we've got opportunity, we'll run back through here, grab the duffel bag, wear it, and then scoop up the bleach on our way out. So let's keep heading north. This is church. Okay, so right across the way is the garage. Right here. Uh, maybe I'm going to be able to get in. Man, the streets are empty, which scares the crap out of me. I think there's that m humongous horde of zombies just on the other side over here. If any of them catch sight of me, it's going to be a long retreat as they swarm at me. Alright, let's peek around this side. You can see one blob down that way, heavily injured. And all sorts of gas inside the garage here. Lovely. Um, definitely going to be better to go in a window than it is to make the noise opening the gate. So, let's wear the gas mask. Anything here? Set to all? Set to inventory? No. Flyers. Welding goggles again. Copper tubing. So, the answer is no and no. Alright, useless garage. And at least we got in and out without any bad things and that'll get us a little further away from the uh, horde so now we head further north the opposite side of the street from the church saw zombie reaver up that way this time I think I am gonna risk the noise big old horde markers over here a <laughs> field campsite in the middle of the town a dispensary, pharmacy, liquor store. I'm not seeing any other garages. Alright. Nope, not seeing any welding uh, carts. Alright, bunch of zombies. I think some of them might have seen me. So that one's a no-go. Um, I got one more right up there, but I'm loath to try to get to that one. But it's either that or head to the one to the south. I think I am going to try to get to it. I'm going to try to run through the intersection. Right, where's my cursor? <laughs> so I'm here right there. I think I'm gonna try to work my way up this way and then through these buildings try to keep visibility out of this group. I'm worried when I try to cross the street here a horde of zombies in that corner is gonna see me. And actually I did see zombies out on the street here so that is a problem actually. Running through the middle of a city in the daylight. Not recommended. Barrel predator and slavering biter. <laughs> um. All right, I'm gonna give up on that northern one. Too dangerous. That master, I think, is right in that area. So everything's upgraded. Too dangerous. We need to pull back. So let's do that. 
not worth it for maybe things in a garage. So we'll just grab the duffel bag, grab the bleach, and head back to the base and then think about heading to that south one. All right, um, drinks and snacks, grab the chocolate bar, fruit leathers, jerky, and pork sticks. I think that's it. All right, let's have some fruit leather. Get us tanked up again in case we have to go wing mode. Hey there, good meme. Thanks for subscribing, welcome. All right, don't see anything else I care about here. Actually, 93 we'll grab. Okay, it's weird with these empty streets over on this end, so we've cleared that out. Pawn shop looked empty to me. Nothing back here that I care about. Mortuary, no. Lots of clothing stores and mortuaries, so don't care about any of that. Let's try to work our way south, see if there's any chance we can get to that garage. Then we'll head back to our base. Oh, Damn it, I forgot my rollerblades. That'd be perfect for me scooting around inside the city here. How silly of me. Is it worth going back for? Actually, it probably is worth going back for. I'm pretty over encumbered. Um, how far in am I? Not very far, actually, so yeah, we're gonna head back. My mobility with the wings and the rollerblades just is uh, crazy good. Get my st oh hello all you guys. Is that all blobs? Yep, all blobs. All right, so we got a spreading horde of blobs up there. Uh, actually, my vehicle is up here. Um, my vehicle might be too close to that group. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty close. I think I'm gonna relocate back behind the pharmacy again. Let's get out of here. Come on, car. Start up. Much better. Um, let's go... South? What do we see down here? Just pigeons? Thinking of just driving. Uh, if I go south to the intersection and then do east... I'm going to keep driving on the road until we see something that i got to pay attention to. Wing mirrors. Alright, trio of acid zombies. Otherwise, ooh, big mm, wreckage, vehicles, zombies. All right, let's go ahead and turn off back this way. All right, we'll park back here. Okay, drop. Uh, yeah, drop. Bleach that. Keep the food items with me. Dump the duffel bag. Take off the gas mask. And what am I at? 12 out of 14, so I'm good for movement. Where are my rollerblades. Alright, that's right, those take some space, so let's go ahead and wear the backpack and then take the rollerblades.
All right, seal our vehicle up. And I think we're good for travel. We got some space. Yeah, I think we're good. Hello, acid zombies. Um, why don't you guys just follow me? I'm just in walk mode and I'm faster than them walking. Alright, take off steel toed boots. Hmm, run mode. I want a little more distance. Wear rollerblades. Okay, now we got some zombies in the area. We're gonna go skating around the city streets though, so. I just need to go pretty much straight to the east. I'm just going to go straight east to the end of the block, and then there's the garage right there. And a mill surplus. Grocery store, electronics. Electronics, garage, and mill surplus all right on top of each other. Hopefully I can break contact with most of these zombies by the time I get down there and just fight a few in the area before I go looting. It is 7 in the morning, so we got plenty of time. Let's see what's out here. All right, so I've got 110 speed, and it's only costing me 29 points to move, so I'm going to be basically moving at triple speed, almost quadruple speed, what these guys are moving at. So maneuvering should be pretty easy. Just got to watch out for ranged fire, shock zombies, things like that. Security van. Don't care about the pistol in the compartment there. You got any diamonds? Diamonds. We'll take the diamonds. Oh man, 30 movement rate. That's just ridiculous. This is going to be pretty entertaining. Alright, what do we got next? Doctor's office. Not use as useful for me. It takes time to... Actually, do I even have a stethoscope yet? I don't have a stethoscope yet. So I actually do want to look into the doctor's office if I can manage it, but... Hmm... Not sure I can manage it in this kind of a situation. <laughs> 110 speed, 31 movement rate. Hilarious! Uh, this is size 8, spacing 5, I want to say. If you're curious about the challenge of the mod settings, you can use these commands. Uh, exclamation challenge mod list and settings so yeah size 8 spacing 5 um do I care what's in there oops my cursor back on the right screen here Micro wafers don't care all right doctor's office entrances on the other side I'm heading into a crowd of zombies I stay on the sidewalk I can whoops that was not on the sidewalk oh my stamina is actually dropping a bit did I bring oxygen I brought oxygen cool all right so there's the doctor's office entrance but I I don't think I dare stop to look inside I'll get trapped inside and have to fight my way out and it'll just be a dog pile of zombies trying to get in at least I don't see any upgraded zombies down this way so far so I don't have a master doing all sorts of stuff. How am I so fast, meaning my speed or the amount of movement points it's taking me? They both have a factor, but they're, the numbers are the way they are for different reasons. <laughs> so my speed is because of traits that I've got. So I'm fleet-footed and I'm quick. And then the movement rate benefit is because I'm running. Yeah, because I'm running and I've also got rollerblades on. So as long as I stay on street or sidewalk or hard floors, I don't go on the ground, I get a massive bonus to my movement speed because of the rollerblades, in addition to my other bonuses. And then I've got a secret weapon as well. As part of our challenge, we're trying to mutate as much as possible, and I've gotten the uh, insect wings mutation, and if I activate those, it burns huge amounts of food, hydration, and energy, but it gives me a massive speed boost while it's doing it, so I can go stupid crazy fast if I turn that on. So I'm trying to be careful to make sure I maintain full, full 
full belly and hydration so if I get into a problem I can turn my wings on and just skate away at supersonic speed. Right now it's just a combination of running with rollerblades on and having a character that's relatively quick to begin with. So, as long as I don't run into things that will grab me if I get too close or shock zombies that can shoot me from a distance, I'm pretty much immune to everything you see on the screen. I can just easily move around them with no problem. Even in walk mode I'm faster than most of this stuff, so... But like I said, my, my problem is if I want to go into a building, <laughs> as soon as I go in the front door and all these things dogpile in behind me, I've either got to have another exit or I've got to fight my way back out again. So, I think I'm going to leave the doctor's office behind. I'm okay on most of the medical supplies. I really do want a stethoscope, but uh, I think I can get to easier doctor's offices when I'm not in the heart of a city in an area I haven't even started to clear yet. So we're just going to skate around these things. Let's go to walk mode for a bit, actually. Even walking, I'm at 68 points to move, so even that's going to be faster than most of this stuff pretty easily. So I'm going to walk till I get my stamina back. I'll just kick on the run mode when I really need to get a, a bump. Plus, I've got uh, strong lungs, so I'm recovering my stamina faster. So it's pretty cool all the way around. Alright, we're coming up on the end of the block, and we've got a pretty big crowd here. Nothing I'm worried about. I could kill them all pretty easily. Hey, feral runners. I wonder if I'm faster than those guys. Guess we're about to find out. Let's go north around them. Still in walk mode. Am I faster walking than they are? Yes, I am. Like, pretty good amount. Alright, let's check the ambulance. Doors on this side. Run mode temporarily. Uh, this is a bit dangerous. Disinfectant and bandages. Can I get out? Yes, I can. All right. Okay, now we're getting to the part where I need to actually get into the building. So, the electronics store, really? It's got bars on the... This is one of the good electronics stores. It's got bars on the windows, so I'd have to clear the area in order to get into that place. And then the garage is just south of it, and the mill surplus is right here. So let's head to the mill surplus, and the problem I'm going to have is I'm going to have to step onto ground unless this pavement goes all the way around the building. <laughs> that would be nice. Ooh, I see first aid kits in the mill surplus. Front door unlocked. Yes, it is. All right, I'm going to skate my way in. These two spaces took a lot of extra movement points, but even inside I'm on hardwood floors. So what else is in here? MREs and first aid kits. And possibly more because it goes deeper. Um, they're going to dogpile in behind me. But I've got lots of windows I can go out and I can pull shelves back and forth to block them. So let's, let's play some fun keep away games with the zombies. So we'll grab the first aid kits, go back to walk mode, grab this shelf and move it there, grab that shelf, oops, let go of the shelf, grab that shelf, grab the chocolate bar and the water, grab that one and put it up there, MREs, And if I stay back here, I'm in the dark, so most of them can't see me anymore anyway. But all I'm seeing is MREs, so I'm going to go up this last hallway here, and then i got to work my way out. Yep, nothing over there. Oops, this one right here. Alright, let's go back to run mode. Alright, so how am I going to get out of here without getting spat on or grabbed? I think I'm just going to run right up here and then come straight across. I don't think it'll help to move back to the other side, so let's do it. Come over here, guys. That's it. Collapse in this way. Just stay away from me, grabber. Damn it. So I got hit by one of the acid guy once. Um, jumper cables and a bottle jack. Can I get to that door? I'm going to really slow down when I hit this patch of dirt. They're going to gain on me. Let's 
stay in run mode, do it. Alright, close the door. And let's grab the earplugs for the next time I'm parked next to a minefield and try to sleep. Uh, I think that's all I'll grab. I'm not seeing what I was looking for, unfortunately. Electromagnetic unit CVM. Another welder. <laughs> oh, air filter. You tease. Thought that was a welder. Alright, nothing here that's useful. We'll winch this thing open. What do we got out front? Quite a few zombies. None that I care about. Alright, unfortunately, we didn't get what I was hoping to get. So, that garage is done. Oh, look, another garage! <laughs> Do we go all the way down there? I guess we're actually not all that far from our car. Our car is parked right there. And so far, we're not having any movement problems. I haven't seen any special zombies, really. We'll see if we can make it down there. We're going to have to go out on this street. Not sure how I'm going to get to that. I think I'm going to need to get over to this street to actually get to it. So I need to find a way through here, I think. Uh, is there solid? Well, that's convenient right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah, let's go back to walk mode. No need to outrun most of this stuff. Roller blades are fun. All right, it's pretty clean out this way so far. Uh, I need to go east and then south along this road. Shocker brute, where's the brute? Is he back behind me? I'm gonna make sure where I know where he's at. He's up to the north. 54 doesn't see me, so I'm okay from him. Anybody around this corner to the south? Nope. Cool. Alright, and here comes the garage. Well, that was a pretty quick trip. Uh, let's just winch it open. God damn it! Alright, steel jerry can, some possible crates, but what I was really looking for was a welding, portable welding kit, and if there was one, it's been run over or collapsed onto, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna have to go around to the back door to get into this thing. Hello, zombies. Don't care about most of you. Don't care. Hmm. I don't want to go on rubble in rollerblades. Yeah, this is bad. I don't have an entrenching tool or a shovel with me either. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how they managed that with that truck. <laughs> That's an interesting parking method there. And this rubble's really screwing with me. I would like to go pop those crates real quick, but. I'm going to have to take the shoes off, move across the rubble, check them, put the shoes, come back across the rubble, and put the shoes back on, and I got zombies coming. Let's try it. I uh, can't go across this in bare feet, so I have to do this. Alright, don't care about the jack. Ooh, heavy duty cable. Um, we'll grab it since I got space. Metalworking chisel. I think I already got one of those. Metal tank, I don't care about. Power horn I don't care about, and empty. Alright, take off steel toe boots, wear rollerblades, and we're out of here again. We're just a rollerblading fairy. Um, smash. I uh, can't quite get to that one. How bad is this? Alright, not too bad. All right, can I get out and around? Yes, I can. All right. Oops, nope, back to walk mode. 
Another one off the list. So many garages. Now that we know we can do this, I hadn't really tried this previously in a while, so with our speed bonuses, as long as I keep my health and hydration up, we can just skate our way around the city pretty easily. Uh, just getting into the certain buildings is a little tough, but uh, otherwise it's pretty entertaining. I could probably map out this entire city just by roller skating around it without doing a bunch of damage to my vehicle. Um... Where to go from here? I don't see any other garages. I don't see... There's a construction site. Let's skate up to the construction site, see if I can spot what uh, tools are in the area. I see a hacksaw, hammer. Not seeing much else. I think I'm going to give up on uh, construction sites for tools beyond that level, hacksaw and hammer. Alright, gas station, another laundromat, arcade. Oh look, another garage! <laughs> I'm just going to skate around this tri-state area on the ro rollerblades and uh, do all my scouting from now on. This seems a lot faster just to do it this way. Shocker zombie, gotta keep distance on that. Technician can grab my weapon. Where are you guys? Back behind me? North and back behind me, all right. Go check the laundromat real quick. I can skate around the kids. Can I skate with a cart? What does it do to my speed? 65 with the cart. 58 without. Alright, I'm still faster and I can use the cart. Seems like a good trade for this kind of looting. Uh, there to there. Really? No, you're not showing me the right thing. All. Reset, reset. Alright. Throw the diamonds in there. Let's throw all this food in there. I keep the boots and the gas mask for quick and easy use. Keep the rest of that. Alright, and nothing else down here. Don't need any of that. Hmm. See ya. Wee. <laughs> That's so amusing. Alright, I do got stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! My arch nemesis! <laughs> no, I will not be going anywhere near the twitchy mutant brown spiders. Those stupid things break my game. Literally. If I go near those things, it starts an infinite spiral of me dying without me ever getting another action. Something about the combination of their high speed, high dodge, they get some kind of weird trigger that occurs that I can't move anymore, and they just sit there and hit me infinitely, and in about six seconds I take like 500 hits and I die. So we're not going near those. Thank God I saw them this time. Okay. Well... Oh, two more garages down there. Well, we got to go over there now. All right, what's at that intersection ahead of me? Here comes the shock zombie. I can't skate fast enough to stay ahead of his shocks, unfortunately. So I'm either going to have to lose him somehow. Because him coming head on, there's no way I'm going to get the distance. Um... I go down and around this side and then loop back around. I think we can do that. So let's go here. Alright, can't afford to let him get any closer than that. Then we'll go up this side. Body sight! Right in the middle of the city. Another, ooh, shocker brood up that way. Fire truck with lots of stuff in it. 
Z9 coming out. Ooh, another zombie master. These things are going to be just... How many of these things are in this freaking city? <laughs> um, these things are going to make these cities nightmares if they are this populous. This I think I can blame on PKs in the settings. Hmm. He's kind of off by himself. I think I can charge him and kill him. Let's go to run mode, see if we can get to him and kill him. Oh, a dog actually landed a hit. Good hit, Z9. Come here, you. Okay, what's going on? I'm getting hit. Let go of that. Alright, got him dead. God damn. Alright, we're out of here. I don't like it when I'm getting hit. That's not that's not a good sign. We're out in the middle of dangerous areas. Alright. Um Shocker Brute still back behind me. At least I hope that's the one that's behind me. This area is starting to get me a little worried. Where's the brute? I want to make sure. Alright, it is the one still behind me. Alright, cart's still in good shape. Stamina's still good. Took a little bit of a hit. Let's pop an aspirin. And lots of zombies, zombies everywhere. I've got to go through this intersection to the next one, and it's quite a long run. Let's do it. What the heck? Oh, no, maybe not. I'm looking at the far end of that intersection, and it's getting pretty busy out there. <laughs> Actually, nothing scary. See if I'm in run or walk mode. The thing's too long. Alright, walk mode's what I want currently. Should be just fast enough to get through here. Alright, that group's getting pretty dense. Yeah, now we're gonna go to run mode. Back to walk mode. Alright, how we doing? Next intersection, then we go south. God, it's only 8 in the morning. <laughs> I can't believe how far I've come, what I've done, and what I've seen, and it's still 8 a.m. Look at the horde chasing me. That's funny. Whoa, you got a little... You guys runners? Did I was I not paying attention? Nope, standard zombie. He got to me a little quicker than I expected. I guess I am only walking, so I'm only doing 66 movement. Alright, there's my southern crossroads. What have we got? A farm plot? An orchard, I think. Alright, still nothing too scary up ahead of me. It's actually looking pretty quiet to the south. I'm liking that. There's the first garage. Ah. Alright, fine. I was hoping I'd be able to get that thing open before they got on me, but nope. Um, let's... I think I'll skate around to the back, check it out, and then uh, maybe pop it open from the inside. I think I'll have enough space then. Alright, let's grab the jumpsuit, and I've got enough of everything else right now. 
Not seeing what I need. What I'm looking for is one of those little cart thingies out here that's got a welder attached to it. That's really my desire right now. We'll just unload that for the battery power and then let's open this one. All right, that one's done. Another one just down the block. Do the same thing, just loop in the back way and check it out. Oops, on the sidewalk, please. Mm, nope. Nope, not again. Welding goggles numbers 19, I think, however many. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, checking our map. Another one down, and we haven't spotted any new ones. Gigantic apartment complex. I'm really not looking forward to trying to go back the way I came with what I've got pulled into the streets now and knowing there's some specialty zombies back that way. I'm wondering if it might be better to take the uh, skates off and just go out this back field here. Maybe come over either all the way down to here and then come back up. Or do I just keep going? Well, no, at some point I'm going to need to cross over. And I don't want to do it near an apartment complex. Or I reverse and work my way up this way and just kind of explore the rest of the end of the town here. I mean, it's still only 8.39. It's taken me like <laughs> five minutes of in-game time to skate ten blocks. So, yeah, I'm doing 66. That's normal when I'm uh, just walking in the skates. Um... Hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, the goal is to try to find the welder, and I also haven't seen a mobile meth lab. Um, if I can isolate a mobile meth lab just to mark it on the map, then visit it at night on my roller skates, clear the area immediately around it, and then rip out the chemistry station. That's the other thing I'm trying to do, so I'm trying to keep an eye out for a mobile meth lab. Um... The only other place I know of where I can get a, a portable welding rig is those, what I'm looking through is garages, where you can find them sometimes in the garage. I can't think of any other source for the welding rigs. I don't think I'll ever be able to build one. I'm leaning towards just doing some more running. I mean, it seems to go pretty easy so far. Head back north, come across here, and just work my way up this way. Get the rest of this part of the city explored. And then just kind of work my way over and then back down and around. Got another Nick in on me. More shopping carts. So oh, there's a map. What kind of map? Restaurant guide. Do I want to skate in there for a restaurant guide? <laughs> uh, I'm in run mode, sure. Maybe we can get to it and get out before they come at get get to the door. Yeah, pretty easily. True, but also have a chance of finding a better vehicle. I've been paying so much attention to the um, zombies, I need to stop and pay a little more careful attention to the vehicles, I think. Just wreckage. Nothing else I see down that way. I think I need to go... Well, actually, I can go down that way, or I can go north one more block. But that puts me in sight of, I think, some big groups. So I think I am going to go this way. Seems nice and peaceful down this way. A 
looking for a building I can duck into for a little bit of free time to maybe... Oh, God damn it! another master! I've never seen this many masters in one time in on day 17. This city is infested with the damn things. That's what the fifth or sixth one we've seen. 